Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today. Today we actually have a fan-made video or a fan-made deck and he sent it to us and wanted to show us all about it and it's it's actually a pretty cool deck. It's got a lot of crazy stuff to it and a lot of like side or not sideboardy but like toolboxy to it. So we're gonna get into that and delve through it but before we get into it guys we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll find our uh, FOW Grimoire, which is our app for our deck builder slash database for Force of Will. It has all the little tools and tricks you'll need for the Force of Will app, Force of Will game. If you're out and about and you're just bored and you're like, I need to make a deck, you can go sit there and make a deck while you're out doing stuff. Or if you're just there and you need to know what a card does, you're like, hey, cool, let's look it up. Yep. Uh, it's It works really well and it's super nice. We use it for all of our decks at the time. Uh, with that, guys, let's delve into this fan deck, which is called Greasy Blister. And it's with our boy, Gruz Belesta, and our girl, Feasting. So we're playing black green and some other colors just because you can. Yeah. But that's where it's at. So first up is Gruz Belesta. He is the new black six stage tag team ruler. Uh, he has the tag statement that you have to have a six stage tag to play him, and you can have two rulers that way. He judges for two black and a one. And his abilities, if you would call your first stone to this game, you may search your magic stone deck for a card and put it into the field instead. If you do, shuffle your magic stone deck. So turn one, you get to go get a certain stone. And then whenever a magic stone enters the field from the call of a J ruler you control, it gains tap, produce a moon, or one will of any attribute until the end of the turn. And then tap, uh, banish a magic stone. If you do, put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field rested. So that is the major change of him. Yeah. Because before you could cheat the system and get a free stone, but they made it sure that you can't. So if you banish a stone, then you get another stone. Yeah. Which is how he's supposed to work. It makes it le legitimately fair, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, it makes it way more fair. But turn one, being able to set up whatever lands you want, yeah, just be like, hey, cool, I have this stone, and then every time you call a stone, you get a man of any color, which is great because you know you don't get mana screwed or will screwed <laughs> yeah, or anything. Yeah, it's super super nice. It's the best. Um, and then he judgments into a seven seven, and this card gets plus two plus two for each different name among all magic stones you control. This card gains Eternal as long as you control five or more Magic Stones with different names. And then Magic Stones you control gain Tap, Produce a Moon, or One Will of Any Attribute. So, he can add any color, and he just gets to be awesome on the backside when you have different stones. So you're just like, cool, have all these different stones, and I'm big. Yep, and, and I just keep coming back, so it's all good. Alright, uh, next is, of course, is Feasting. She also has the Tag Team of the Six Sages. Her Judgment is a Green Green and One. And what she does is at the beginning of the game, you may mulligan up to three times instead of once. You may do a judgment anytime you could play a card with quick cast. So that's amazing that you can just like, boom, flip over. I have eternal J roller and I'm blocking for sure. Or in the fact that, you know, you get to mulligan three times so you can set up your hand, whatever you would like. Yeah. It's insane. But then you can just tap, produce one, spin this only to play chance. So she's also a ramp card after you uh, call a stone with, you know, Gruz Ballesta, which is pretty cute. And of course, once you judge it, she has flying, she's a 5-7, and choose up to two, uh, cancel target spell, prevent all damage that will be dealt to target entity unit, uh, entity until end of turn. So you definitely want to just go ahead and choose both, but to be able to at any time just cancel the chain. Yeah, the fact that she has quick cast as judgment makes her so strong, because you're yeah. just like, no, don't do that, and prevent that damage, or, because I can. Yeah, just any time you have to be weary of her just being like i can cancel whatever spell you play so yeah. thanks i do believe she's gonna be one of the stronger sex stage rulers just because she can mulligan three times yeah regardless of whatever else she can do and counter your big spell to yeah. win like, it's pretty dumb yeah super dumb all right so we've delved into the dudes of the deck we first up is welser master of the six sages slash his last lecture uh, Welser is a quick cast resonator. Enter, return target spell to its owner's hand if this card is put into the field by the effect of his last lecture. Remove this card from the game and put two own counters on each J ruler you control. Chant is the last lecture. It's one green for a quick cast recovery or ruler you control. If it's a six sage, put this card Welser into the field instead of putting it into the owner's graveyard. So, quick cast, you're going to be like, cool, recover my ruler because I can, and then I get this dude into play but you can also and it like bounces a thing and then remove it from the car remove it from the game and you get two counters at the same time so yeah you get to untap your ruler bounce a dude and get counters so yeah a lot just for one really yeah. <laughs> it's pretty gross for one mana very very gross 
The next one is Ultra Magic Stone Golem. It is a 8-9 drop. <laughs> it's a 2000-2000 with Precision and Pierce. But you may pay two less to play this card for each different name among all Magic Stones you control. So it's going to be pretty cheap, pretty quick. Enter, destroy all J Resonators your opponent's controls with attack less than an attack of this card, which is probably going to be everything that's on there. And it's your opponent controls, not yours, so you can one side board wipe and then swing in for the win. Yeah, the dude is gross. Yeah, like very, he gets so gross. Very quick. Next, a student at the Institute. It is one black and four for a Resonator Wizard. She's an 8 8. Uh, you may pay one less to play this card for each different name Magic Stone you control. Enter, you may banish up to two Magic Stones. For each Magic Stone banished this way, your opponent banishes a Resonator and you put a card from the top of your Magic Stone deck into the field rested. Awesome. So she comes into play cheaper. And she can kill your dudes, and you get to cycle more stones. So yeah. it's pretty, pretty strong as what she can do. And most uh, resonators that do this, usually you have to sack your own resonators, but this is just stones that you know you're going to have anyway. So it's pretty good. And yeah, she puts them into play, rested. So I mean, it's, you don't really get any extra value, but it's still it's still worth it. Exactly. You, you tap the stone to play her, and then you sacrifice those stones. Exactly. Simple as that. Next one, of course, is the Spirit of Soils slash slash uh, Lumi Soil. The first one is a two green, five seven resonator. When this card is put in the graveyard from the field, put the top card of your Magic Stone deck into the field rested. Yay! And then chant, put the top card of your Magic Stone into the field rested for three. So, you know, it just does what it wants, pretty much. Yeah, it helps you get all the stones out you need so you can get there quicker. Oh, yeah. Uh, next is Scheherazade, Weaver of Fairy Tales. It is a green and two for an 8-8 eight, eight Resonator. Enter, you may search your deck for an additional Resonator with total cost one or less and put it into the field. If this card is awakened, you may search your deck for both. Then shuffle your deck, awakening, rest to recover j you control. So, so it that. helps you get both if you need both, but mostly you're just going to use it to get one for the most part or get like a couple of things if you need to. Yeah, and one of the things you can give is the One-Tailed Fox. It is a one drop, three, four, drain. Vesta, recover J Ruler. You control this card, deals 100 damage to target player or J Resonator. At the end of the game, if you just need to, just tap them both down, take two, gain two. So. It, it is an extra way to kill without having to attack, which is kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of slow, but yes. hey, it gets there. Yeah. Uh, next is Lilius Petal slash Awakening of the Nine Tail Fox. So. He is black for a 4-4 quick cast resonator. Enter, destroy target, damage res J resonator. When this card is put into the field by the effect of awakening, put f nine one one counters on this card. Gross. So he gets to be gross if you play it from the bottom part. Very gross. Awakening of the Nine-Tail Fox is three black quick cast chant. This card deals 900 damage to each J resonator. If you control three or more magic stones of different names, put this card into the field instead of putting it into the owner's graveyard. So... You need to play this with Grease Ballista for sure, because you're already going to play multiple different stones. Yeah. And then you're just like, cool, three mana. Most of the time, nine damage is going to board wipe everything. Yeah. And then you get to have a big dude come into play. So by turn two or three, you can have their side board wiped and you have a 12-12, or 13-13. And even if it doesn't kill with the nine damage, his ability of coming to play kill a damage dude kills whatever's left. So you're like, cool, deal 900 to the board. Yeah. He comes into play, kill your big dude. Exactly. Seems pretty good for something for super cheap and quick cast at any time. Yeah, it's essentially a three minute board wipe, which is really, really strong. Yeah, on their turn, yeah. if you wanted to. The next one is uh, Extraction Wizard. So one drop as well, four, four. Enter, put the top card of your deck into your graveyard, recover a ruler you control. Rest a recovered J ruler you control, remove a magic stone in your graveyard from the game, produce one will of any attribute. So if you sacrifice stuff with Gruz Ballesta and needed, you know, or the other card, then you, this just gives you extra will at the at the time. Yeah, this helps you get free mana. Yeah, simple as that. Because free will is free will. And just for one, it's not too bad. Uh, the first spell we got of the deck is the Awakening of Gruz Ballesta. It is a black and six quick cast. You may pay two less to play this card for each different magic stone um, name of, among magic stones. And then magic stones you control get become 1,000, 1,000 resonators until the turn. Yeah. They are still magic stones. If this card is awakened, they gain swiftness, eternal, and barrier. And Awakening is Rest a Recovered uh, card named Gruz Ballista. So you tap Gruz Ballista and it, you awaken this and you get to make all your dudes 10-10s. Ten yeah, and Swiftness, Eternal, and Barrier. So they can't yeah. touch and you just swing in for the win. The other Awakening we have is Feasting. This is also one of the most powerful cards for the deck. It is a green and X. It's a champ. 
Search your deck for a Resonator with total cost of X or less and put it in the field. If this card was awakened, search up the two Resonators with total cost of X or less instead, then shuffle your deck. Awakening, of course, is just recover, uh, rest to recover name feasting you control. So be able to get two pretty big dudes because you're ramping and all this other stuff really quick. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Next is Sparkling Boon of the Magic Stones. It is a black and two for a chant, banish any number of magic stones, draw X cards, then put X cards of your magic stone deck into the field rested where X is the magic stone banished. Yep. So it just helps you get free card draw and like extra abilities once different stuff, so. For sure. Uh, the other one is Secluded Fox Village. It's a one drop edition. You can go search it up for the with the other card. Enter, destroy target resonator with total cost two or less. And then rest recover J ruler you control target resonator you control gains bane until end of turn, which can be extremely annoying to play against for sure. Mm -hmm. Magic Stone Research Institute. It is a black and a green for an addition. Enter banish a magic stone. Put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field. J resonators you control get uh, plus two plus two for each different name among all your magic stones you control. Rest to recover J ruler you control. Recover remove all cards in your opponent's graveyard from the game. So it's kind of like a weird catch-all for everything that it needs to do. It gives you free stones. Well, you have to banish a stone, but it gives you a different stone. And then it gives all your dudes a, a plus. So it's a really big lord because you get plus two, plus two for each different name. Yeah. So if you have five, you get plus ten. And you're just like, cool. Two, Which is ridiculous. Two mana give plus two. <laughs> yeah. Seems good. Seems real good. And then if you need to, you can be like, cool, remove your graveyard. Yeah. Which can actually help. Help a lot. Yeah from with the decks that we've been playing. <laughs> yeah. Next is the Duet of Darkness. It is two dark chant. Uh, choose one, you may choose an additional one for each recovered J ruler you control. So you can choose up to three. Uh, put target resonator from the graveyard into your hand. Your opponent discards a card. Resonator is your uh, opponent's control. Get minus 200, minus 200 for each different name of all magic stones you control. And of course, this hits the opponents as well only. So it can also just be a board wipe for two. That's all. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, that's right? really all you need is a one sided <laughs> board wipe. This one has a lot of one sided board wipes. So yeah, there's gonna, at least three. That's pretty awesome. Uh, that is it for the deck. We go into the stones now. Let's I did change one stone because it didn't make sense to me. Sorry. I'm just, it, it, I was like, I didn't yeah. see why it was here. Um, but we'll get to it. So, first, we got the wind magic stone, which is this normal stone. Uh, we do have four of the same stone, which is it's just really good for what it does. Yeah. Uh, the magic stone of the six stages, it enters. Recover your ruler, produce a one colorless, or tap, produce one will of any attribute, play this only if you have a recovered J ruler, but also with Grizz Ballista, this is going to come and play a turn one and always add a man of any color, because yeah. you can. Exactly. Magic Stone of the Black Silence, which is the Black Green Stone. Epic Stone of the Blood, which is uh, actually Rezard's Old Stone. Uh, it produces a black, and tap, revenge, put two one counters on target resonator if you have a dude die this turn, so kind of nice. Yeah. Any stone that you can have like an extra ability with is always pretty nice. Uh, Darkness Magic Stone, Black Moon's Amoria is the is the one that I changed because he did have the uh, Cthulhu Stone, but it didn't make sense because there was only like one card that you could play it with, yeah. and it's not even really like needed then. But it, this one just adds a moon and a black, and then add Arax Amoria because you're playing black green, so you have you double well. stones. Yeah, exactly. But overall, the deck seems super fun, and it's got a lot of different variants. So, and I mean, you can go search up quick cast uh, one-sided board wipes exactly there's so, nothing wrong with that so for you just be able to put dudes out and then kill all their board all the time then yeah i, I can see it pushing through yeah it's gonna be a fun deck to, to play test with so we can't wait and we'll see y'all again next time goodbye later also guys make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos and we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.